having been here for the second straight year and gone through all of this, how much does that help kind of calm the nerves that, that you, you've done this before? Yeah, I think. I talked about it a lot, like it's an advantage to us that these girls have been a part of that team last year. Um, they know what it takes, the hard work it takes, the practice leading up, knowing the personnel, knowing the scout. That's going to be huge for us. Um, I think we're used to big moments. I mean, playing in, in front of 15,000 people at Carver at home, um, that's huge. And then everywhere we've really been this year in opposing arenas, like it's been a sold out crowd. So we're used to 15,000 people cheering against us as well. So I don't think anything really rattles us anymore. Um, you know, this team's just, I mean, we, we, we live for those big moments. See, that's the games you want to play in. You want to play in those sold out arenas with a great opponent um, where it's, you know, a game to the final buzzer. Those are the best games. We're halfway there. Okay, Evan, go ahead. <laughs> You're doing great. It's been awesome. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to go on two foreign trips, so that was actually my second one. And I think that's the biggest way to, you know, create that chemistry. I think the chemistry comes from off the court things and that just carries on to, the, to what we can do on the court. And you know, having those two weeks with the team, I felt a lot closer to them. Um, not that I was close to them before, but you know, just making those memories off the court mean everything. That's what you're gonna remember after basketball's all done. Uh, but you know, and then we got to do that thing in Kinnick. I mean, that was, that was amazing. Um, I don't know if any of you guys were there, but it was awesome. Uh, but I think this year has just been full of opportunities. And that's what this game has given me, just new opportunities and, you know, things that I'll just remember forever, truly.